So let's see, let's see how she does. Just wait for these glow plugs to turn off. This is a good one here. It is 40 degrees today, so we'll see. Oh yeah, she's working. What's up guys? Welcome back to Red Maple Ranch. I'm Sean and I was recently able to pick up this Ford Power Stroke 7.3 liter and just wanted to do a quick overview video of what it needs now and kind of what the work we're going to be doing to it in the future to get it ready for some work. So this is the 2000 new to me 7.3 liter Power Stroke diesel from Ford and of course it's a four door which makes it nice. I've been really wanting to get a four door full bed for a while now and this one just came up for such a good deal i could not pass it up uh, still have been driving the gmc duramax around but the problem is you know i have the single rear wheel it's a seven foot bed since that's only the six and a half foot from the factory where this is the eight foot by eight foot flat bed so that's such a big improvement once i get the toolbox and everything in there um, it does have the dualies which means my tow rating is a lot better still four wheel drive I mean, you really can't be in my area without four wheel drive. It's just not even worth it. Uh, much bigger fuel tank for sure. I think this is like a 30 to 32 gallon maybe, whereas the Duramax was closer to maybe a 22. I could be wrong about that, but somewhere in there. Uh, this one does have the bumper pull hitch with the seven way plug. Uh, it does not have the gooseneck hitch yet, which is kind of unfortunate because uh, it's a big part of the uh, way I'm still using the, uh, that's still a big reason why I'm still using the Duramax is because I have the gooseneck in there. So one big thing I want to do is make sure I get a gooseneck hitch for this eventually. It does have air ride suspension, which is fantastic. I haven't been able to use that yet, but um, you know, really looking forward to seeing how that changes things. So coming around to the passenger side here, uh, basically the same thing. I mean, typical body damage. If some cab corners, the rocker panels are getting rusty, our running boards are a little bit loose. Uh, you know, it does have the locking in hubs rather than the factory vacuum from what I'm told. This is my first power stroke here, so uh, still trying to learn a little bit about it, but um, hopefully those locking hubs will be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more consistent and reliable for sure than the, from what I've been hearing about the vacuum. So uh, interior is not too bad. I think it has about 180,000 miles on it. So, you know, decent interior. Um, again, I want to do a couple things in the bed here just to get it ready for more or less the concrete and around the farm. So mounting the toolbox, have a crane maybe to put in there um, and a little underbody toolbox for some straps. Really just kind of being more of a, more of a work truck for sure. So uh, I'll get this thing cranked up here. So I got this thing a couple, a couple weeks ago now and we're finally hitting into the 20s here in Pennsylvania. So I have not started this in a couple weeks. So let's see, let's see how she does. Let's wait for these glow plugs to turn off. This is a good one here. It is 40 degrees today, so we'll see. Oh yeah, she's working. Oh, and there she goes. Excellent. It's a beautiful starting machine. Sounds great. A little bit of hole in the exhaust, but not too big of a deal. So a couple little things like that to work through. Uh, there is a decent oil leak. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the turbo pedestal because it's coming down in basically the exact spot behind the uh, passenger side of the engine. So, you know, uh, not really looking forward to doing that, but it's really not that big of a deal for the price I got this thing for. Other than a few oil leaks in the engine and a few small things that I wanted to do to it, 
Uh, you really can't go wrong with this thing. So I know this thing does have a few problems with it. Basically, uh, you know, probably gonna need injectors in the next 20 to 30,000 miles, which isn't that big of a deal for this machine. Um, it's mostly just cost of either buying refurbished or remanufactured or brand new injectors for it. So I'm not too worried about that, but a few oil leaks to change here and there, um, but really 186,000 miles. And I picked this thing up for $4,000 on uh, Facebook Marketplace. So, I mean, Deals like that, you really can't pass up. You know, for four thousand dollars, you're not going to find a four-wheel drive diesel truck right now. But um, even with the relatively higher mileage than what I would have hoped for, uh, 186,000 miles on a truck like this really isn't that bad. So, especially if you take care of it and really give it the maintenance it deserves. You know, we'll we'll tune it up and make sure everything's good. Check all the fluids, make sure everything's up to speed, and then uh, yeah, this should be a great truck for a long time. I mean between uh, the newer tires on it and um, the flatbed and everything that really just saves so much effort already in uh, what I would need to do to it to get it construction ready so definitely exciting to be able to get a full crew cab with a full eight foot eight by eight flatbed on it I really wasn't looking for a truck during this time because the Duramax is still running well but uh, when the deal comes up I mean it's just hard to pass up so uh, eventually, I'm probably going to get rid of the Duramax, but I would like to get this thing a little bit more ready for uh, the concrete season and maybe a few other things around the farm. Like I said, be looking out on the channel because we're probably going to do a video of just a few upgrades to this truck, like the underbody toolbox, mounting the bed box, you know, I have the crane, uh, a few other things. There's the exhaust. And of course, I'd like to uh, run power to maybe a winch in the, uh, in the back. So we'll see about that and should be pretty fun project and should be able to uh, get a good couple things done on it before the end of the year. Uh, but yeah, look out for that and I will see you on the next one.